so Nikki D, I was telling you, <laughs> driving in this morning, and some of you may have been out as early as, as we are, but it was dry as a bone, mm -hmm. and then it was seriously like the skies opened up. I mean, you, and it was so loud, yes. too. I mean, woke a lot of people up. Not a ton in the way of lightning in the cell that did yeah. move through the city, but we've got other ones that mm -hmm. are bringing a lot of lightning. And your visibility, I'm sure, wasn't great. No. With the heavy rain. Yeah, not at all. And I'm just wondering, I mean, is that what we're going to expect most of the day? On and off throughout the entire day. So make sure that you are planning ahead. Mm -hmm. If you've got some errands that have to be done, you want to have that storm app downloaded to make sure you can get out there when we're not dealing with a really quick downpour. The city not currently dealing with any rain, but that cell that Amy was just telling you about dumped three tenths of an inch in downtown Nashville within just a few short minutes. Current temperature right now, we're coming in at 71 degrees. Winds continue to move in out of our south. You can tell the visibility as of now, you're golden. We're coming in around 10 miles. So once that cell does pass, you're able to see quite nice. However, the roadways, they're going to be slick in areas that have missed out on the rain the past few days probably have a little bit of oil on them. So the oil and water definitely are not friends. So watch out for some slick spots. We are completely covered up in the way of cloud cover. This is thanks to that upper level low that's going to be with us today as well as tomorrow. I'll give you a very quick overview on where we're seeing the cells right now. That heavy one that moved through the city now moving its way closer into Ashland City right now weakened significantly over into Wrigley. You had a lot of lightning a few minutes ago. Now that cell is beginning to weaken just a bit. Hole and wall similar setup still bringing some cloud to ground lightning as it moves its way just off to our north and west. Also seeing that closer into Murfreesboro. See another cell now making its way closer just off into Hermitage Springs and look at this one. A few minutes ago, there was no lightning and now we've got the lightning in place. It's going to move its way northward into Edmonton. None of these are severe. Not looking to see anything as widespread severe storms are concerned, but we will have some heavy downpours like what you did see earlier on in the city. So just be mindful if you are going to be heading out. Temperatures this morning are coming in in the upper 60s and 70s. If you look close, you can actually see all the winds giving us that profile of the upper level low. For today, you're going to have waves of rain moving in. It's not going to be consistent for the next 24 hours but it's going to be consistent, inconsistent. Does that make sense? Where you're going to see them moving in and out throughout the next bit. That continues to stay with us throughout our Saturday as well. And then the system will eventually lift its way out. So Sunday, pending if it continues to move at the speed it is, we will be on the drier side. Just a slim chance for some scattered rain showers. So here's a look over the next seven days. Today, obviously the coolest and going to be one of the wetter ones. 84 degrees. We're going to have that cloud cover with us pretty much all day long. We'll see some scattered showers, thunderstorms coming in, in those waves. They are going to be coming in out of our south, moving north and west. So a little bit different in the way of that flow. Tomorrow 86, same system that hangs out with us and then it will begin to exit. You'll notice some drier air moving in as we go into next week. More sunshine, temperatures will return back into the low 90s, still feeling like the mid to upper 90s. And as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, keeping a very close eye on the Gulf of Mexico, obviously not an immediate impact for us, but potentially bringing more rain the end of next week.